So why eat dried mushrooms, right? Dried mushrooms are something that you can find in the grocery store and maybe if you're cultivating mushrooms, um, it's pretty easy if you have a surplus or something to dry them. So what are the benefits to dried mushrooms? Um, the first one, which I just hit on, is if you're growing them, mushrooms, or if you find them in the wild, um, mushrooms grow in flushes. Um, so they can be really, really abundant at times and then be nowhere at, at times. So it's really nice when you find a lot of mushrooms to dehydrate them or to dry them in the sun. Um, this can be as simple as laying them out in the sun and letting them dry or putting them in a dehydrator for, usually I do overnight um, at around 115, 120 degrees and until they're kind of like chips. So you just go until they're crispy. Um, and this, this gives you know, a really yummy, delicious food, uh, shelf life, right? So we can have it all throughout the winter and at times when it's not around. Um, black trumpets are a mushroom that is absolutely incredible to dry. Their smell is so good. Um, and I love having those in the winter to remember a nice July night. Um, another, there's two other really big health benefits that I want to talk about with dried mushrooms. The first one is their vitamin D content. So mushrooms contain a compound in their cell wall called ergosterol. And this compound, when exposed to sunlight, is transformed into vitamin D. Um, and so if we are eating dried mushrooms that have been exposed to sunlight during the winter, we can be getting a lot of vitamin D that way. Um, and these don't have to be exposed while they're growing or while they're dried. Um, or during the drying process exactly, um, they can be exposed to sun at any point before or after they're dried and the uh, compound ergosterol will um, convert into vitamin D. So even if you buy uh, dried mushrooms at the grocery store, you can put them out in sunlight for four to six hours and they'll have that vitamin D content. Um, so vitamin D is a great reason to eat your dried mushrooms. Um, just preservation and then the third thing is protein content so shiitake mushrooms have about 10% protein uh, by weight by dried weight um, which is really similar to all the beans and kind of the vegetarian options that are typically highlighted as great sources of vitamin of um, protein so it's maybe anywhere from like half or it's around half of what meat has um, but 10% is still pretty high, and if you eat a good amount of uh, dried mushrooms, um, then you can be getting a great amount of uh, um, protein for your day. Um, and then the last thing is that they're delicious. I love eating dried mushrooms just because they taste good, right? So uh, putting them into soups or like making a miso soup with dried shiitakes or when, you, when roasting a chicken, um, putting dried morels or something at the base where the juices collect is divine. So, so good. Um, so go out, get some dried mushrooms. You can visit our store, fungially.com. We sell some dried mushrooms and enjoy.